What's up guys? I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. Today we are out exploring Oceanside, California, so stick around. channel everyone thank you so much for being here and if it's your first time here we would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the vibe tribe so we are camping just a few hundred yards from the beach here in Oceanside and we thought today is a perfect day to get out and explore the area yeah so we're gonna take a walk down the beach first and go out on the pier and kind of show you the beautiful view right here next to this RV park and then we're gonna go get a bite to eat and just kind of explore around a bit so let's see what we find So literally just a few hundred yards away is Bombay Beach. That's what you just saw. There's a little cafe there. It was closed right now, but beautiful beaches just so close to the camper. Yeah, so we have walked down here a couple times already, actually, just to kind of get a feel for the place. And it is so beautiful here. We are always amazed by the beautiful California coast. It is uh, the palm trees, the blue skies, the saltwater air. It's one of those things that every time we return to it, we just think, this is be this is amazing. What the heck? So we walked about a mile and now we came along what they call the Strand. Which is basically just a pathway that goes right along the ocean down to the pier. And it's a one-way street, lots of pedestrian activity down here too, lots of runners, bicyclists, and uh, these beautiful old beachfront cottages. Yeah, there's a park located down towards the pier as well where a lot of people we saw the other day were hanging out, they brought their kids and just kind of enjoying the day. And dogs are allowed here on the Strand, but they're not allowed on the pier. So each time we've come down here before, we haven't yet gone on the pier. So we're really looking forward to that. Yeah, I don't think they're allowed on the beach either. So unfortunately, River can't have that much fun down here. So we left her back at the camper today and we're gonna go on a hike with her later this afternoon. We just got back from walking the whole length of the pier and it was great to get to the end and then look back at the beach. Yeah, it was really cool just to watch all of the fishermen reeling in fish and all the pelicans and seagulls waiting around for a little scrap of something to eat. There's a restaurant down there called Ruby's. Uh, you know, we're not going to check that one out because there are so many awesome vegan options in the area but it looks like a fun tourist stop down there. Yeah, and it has like windows that wrap around the building so you can look out at the ocean while you eat. It seems like a real old fashioned like burger and shake type joint. So not really up <laughs> our alley, but it might be a cool stop for someone else.
the veggie grill because they have an all vegan menu and it looks amazing. We both were craving something a little unhealthy today and some comfort food. So we both got a burger and some mac and cheese and we want to come back here tomorrow to try some more things too because it all looked really, really good. We also got a side of macaroni and cheese that was at, tasted great. The consistency was awesome. Uh, everything about that place was right up my alley because they had all the comfort foods, but they were pure mm -hmm. vegan. Yeah, so it's not the healthiest option for a regular place to go all the time, but it's a fun treat. And it's really cool to have some of those options that we don't get to have very often. We, we were going to uh, go on a hike with River after this, but it turns out that, uh, let's see. We're all right. full and, and tired. The, the traffic is so bad too right now. Yeah, Kyle's paying attention over there. On the uh, I-5, we only have like three and a half miles to go, but it's pretty busy. So we will go back and love on the dog, but a cool fun uh, tidbit about Oceanside is whenever we pulled up to the RV park the other day, we realized that my cousins live only mm -hmm. two miles away. I had no clue about this just three days ago. Yeah, so it timed up just perfectly and we were able to have like a family get together. Um, I don't think Kyle had seen his cousin since he was Small like five child. years old. <laughs> So that was fun to be able to, for them to catch up and we got to see um, his aunt and uncle again and it's just, was a really cool, fun meet up with everyone. They were super kind and gracious and accommodating and we loved that these travels allow us to catch up with these family members that we didn't have much of a relationship with yeah. before. It, it has been an awesome thing to experience. Uh, every time we come to California, I get to meet multiple cousins and we always have Thanksgiving at one of my cousins now. So there are those really cool perks about traveling. Yeah. Some connections have been made and we've got new traditions now. So yeah, there's some things you don't necessarily think about when going into this lifestyle that turn out to be some of your favorite parts. So once we get back to the camper, we'll probably love on the dog. Go run around the park with her a little bit and let yeah. her get some exercise. Yeah, Kyle's been um, trying to jog with her. He usually goes running without her just because it can be hard to handle the dog while he's running, but he's I'm, I've been pushing him to try to do it more often because she loves running and I think she'll learn the more they do it how to run next to him and not get too far ahead. But. We're gonna go get her some exercise and all just kind of settle in for the evening. I think we're pretty beat. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, watching this video. If this is the type of content you like us going out and exploring these communities, give this video, video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Later on.